Hello, welcome back to Sea Blip. So I decided to play more of the game even though it's not finished. So we're on Treasure Island. I really wish the developers would speed up the content development a little bit. And remember, you can actually dig over here and you can get really crazy stuff. I think this is where you can find the llama head and some of the other stuff. I found the red coat goblet over there. And I guess the current objective of the gameplay is to simply get all of the items needed for the Adventurer Guild. Also, I don't know if people notice, but some of the walls are destructible. How did I know? Well, I destroyed them. And this actually goes down up to here. And I guess we can dig. I think there is a treasure. Where you can see a little worm wiggling around or something in the ground. Or one of the pits. Like that. Or the grass, like that. What was in here? Just the sapphire that I got a bit earlier? I think it's just a sapphire. Oh, okay. it goes even further than that. So, we have the treasure. The treasure island to get a diamond. Well, that's fascinating. And this game is filled with little secrets like this. I don't know. I think the game would have been a lot better if they just focused on the combat and balancing the combat instead of focus. I don't know. It's just a personal opinion. If they would have focused on the combat, that would have been a much better early access game. But as it is right now, the content just stops. I mean, the gameplay loop just stops after you find the bigger ship like I have. Now I was trying to continue. Also, this is bugged. This shouldn't, this shouldn't be over here. You should never be able to save and sleep wherever you like, but eh. that's my game now. I'm trying to pass through here because someone said you can pass through here if you look carefully enough. But you cannot. I tried it so many times. What does the whirlpool do? Ouch! Eh. That's a funny one. So see that the little flag over there that looks like a little worm? Llama head statue. Well, <laughs> that's it. I guess it respawns every day. The treasure... I don't know. It might respawn every day or it might respawn every two days or something like that. Anyway, it's very very fast. easy to obtain. How do you do that? I don't know. I just don't have the patience to try it more and more. I guess you can look at how these ships move. This ship moves around. It looks like it can pass through there. Okay. I guess this will, this will be one of the things I try a lot of times. Trying to get the ship. Is a bounty target. Also, drop your anchor. I don't know, we'll just have to look at it a little bit more. If I cannot figure it out, well, that's that. Bill Butcher and Patrick. Oop, deck. Up. <laughs> I don't think I want him on my clean deck. Yeah, someone said that you can actually watch that ship's movements, the bounty target. Wait, what? That ship come out of there. Wait, what? Let's watch this ship over here. Maybe it have a solution to our predicament over here. Nah, I don't think so. I think it's a little bit bugged. Also, make sure you get all of this stuff. Really, really important. What else you can have iron ore in them? That's not it either. Pass through there. I 
but this doesn't lead anywhere. Maybe I'm understanding this the wrong way. They pass through there. At least we can try. Ouch. I have a feeling this will be just another dead end. Yeah, that's another dead end. Well, it will be zero morale, one morale. Uh, I guess we have seven more days to try this thing out. It's interesting that they have a secret over here, but it's annoying that it's so annoying to figure it out. I guess we can try and squeeze through these ones, but I think it's a waste of time. Maybe we can go through. What? Oh, that was the whole thing? Okay, I guess we can see the combat. So we have a big cannon. We have poison. We have poison. And fire. Then we have a small swivel gun. And then we have... Okay. Let's see how fire and poison works. Well, that's brutal. I don't know why he's trying to attack us. Oh wow, that just seemed to give me an over. Okay, that's that's a cool concept of the game. See, I wanted to do more of this stuff. I think it... Yeah, they're not strong enough to pull it off, but it's a good try though. My captain is just too strong. Come on, captain, defeat him already. <sighs> Sadly, they don't reposition after you do that, so now I have to see wh which goes which. Okay. There. Yeah, it's okay. Give me all of the gold items. Okay, so we can go through here, I assume. Wow, that was very, very tricky to figure it out. Okay, so it was through the north. You can enter this. Well, we still haven't entered the area. I mean, it's still a treacherous area. But at least we're here. There's something moving over there. That's not good. And the game is so filled up with secrets to the point where I think the game is about the secrets only and not really about the gameplay itself. Ooh. Save and sleep. Okay, so we can actually challenge the good captain. We can wait. Sadly, that means we cannot keep all of the bounty ships in our bottle because we cannot finish the quest to upgrade the bottle. Okay, so this area was not really that special. I don't know, can maybe access that. Captain Crumbly? Hey, Captain Crumbly! <laughs> no! I cannot catch him. I want a real challenge. You are a real challenge. His boat seems like it's bigger than ours. Well, this is annoying. Stop! Okay, he has a big boat. He has a monkey mortar. Oh, don't tell me it sends monkeys in my area. He has the log breaker, same as me. He has a lot of crew to be honest. Yeah, this is a much bigger ship than mine. Well, not much bigger. I guess it has less cannon slots. It only has two big slots. 
Oh no, it's actually better because... No? He doesn't have an opening, but I think he has a cannon over there. So the captain will fire the poison cloud cannon. Okay. He will fire the magma cannon. Okay. Demonic altar. I don't care to fight all of them. While they are teleporting, and I guess this guy can aim for that. Okay, shields up. This <laughs> poke beam. Oh, he has a shield as well. Oh, I thought I had an advantage over him, but I guess I don't have an advantage over him. Poke oh, shields up. Or who who was in charge of the shield? I forget. Ouch! That was a big hit. They cannot defeat me. I'm so strong in this ship. I mean, I think I forgot what I put. Where does the big cannon fire at? So they cannot handle all of this massive damage. Well, I guess we should heal up. Yeah, very hard. Not really. More like easy enough. Yeah, I guess that's the right word. Easy enough. So, I think the ship is better, but I don't... Hmm. Okay, let's look at all of the stats. So, it's easier to hit because it's bigger. It also has a magic shield. The monkey head. What is the monkey head? Oh, it can deal a lot of damage. 16 seconds. That That's not bad. And it has an auto pump. I guess this one has the lightning protection, but this one just has an extra cannon. <laughs> and also the slots are better because it has four big ones. Uh, but I'm not sure, so... Two of them are for sure gun slots. The auto pump is nice because that means I have an extra room to work with. Wait, I, I didn't have a pump in this boat? <laughs> I didn't need one. But is this something I can shoot out of? Because this one... Yeah, no, my boat is better because we we can have four cannons on it. Yeah, replace that one. Captain Crumbly! 65,000 gold and we'll have to give all of it to the crew. I think you get the bounty and the quest money as well. Yeah, this ship is awesome. I guess you just... The meta is kind of simple right now. Hey, you just get... Get the big pirate ship or the medium pirate ship and then defeat that guy with the lightning or the puffer fish, whatever he was, and then just win. Progress and win. Oh, okay, so we have to use the deck, or not the deck, use the... Pier. The dock. The dock or the pier. Okay, that's what I was looking for. Medium, ha! Huh. Medium means... Oh, <laughs> calm down! I was getting a little bit excited, I wanted to say medium means nothing to me. What does this guy have? This banana man with intelligence, luck and health, and also a decent amount of reload speed. What does this guy do? I guess nothing, he's just intelligent. So that's it, max 10. Load speed for everyone. Did my character level up again? Nope. Oh wow, he needs so much. By the way, in, in case you're interested in the game and playing it more, there is a mod that allows you to level up them indefinitely, meaning you can level them up beyond level uh, 10 or whatever the max is. I'm not planning on fighting them, but okay, so fire goes. Fire goes there. No, poison goes there, fire goes there. The rest will focus on destroying the big mortar. As you can see, you are uh, 
Invasion rate is quite good. Wait a minute, what happens if you mix poison and fire? I think it should explode, but I never really tested it out, so let's test it out. Hey, good luck with escaping. Not even a chance. Water expert. I guess healer crew will be nice, but I don't need it anymore. I uh, instantly repairs all water breaches, yes. I guess we can even make the ship a little stronger because we have still one slot that we're not really using for anything. Now that we need that for anything, I guess I just have to wait until I get the right research scroll. By the way, we haven't been getting any research scrolls for a very, very long time. Oh, I guess this location is not in the game yet. Yeah, it's... Well, technically it's in the game, but we cannot do anything in there. Yeah, I guess we can try and defeat the other pirates. Maybe we'll go for defeating all of them now. Oh, you leveled up as well. Wait, why do you level up with only 5 points? Is it something related to intelligence? Huh, I don't care. Ouch. I even sleep. Well, I guess that button. Again, I'm not trying to cheat or anything. But I guess that button is useful to finish the rest of the content. Otherwise, it would have been a little annoying to do it. I said there was no other way to enter this area unless you go through the north side. Very well hidden, I like that. Well, I guess I can try and see if there's something else over here, but probably not. There's nothing over here, except a dead end. But it's going to take a while until we reach the top. Yeah, so I like the game a lot, but again, they should have just focused on the combat, because if the combat was better balanced, you'd have a much better time with the game, because as it is right now, you need about 4 or 5 hours to finish the game. <laughs> I guess I can do it a little faster as well, since I know the tricks now. But I also don't want to restart the game. I guess we'll keep playing. If the developers add new content, we'll have something to do. Otherwise, I think we'll just, you know, try to level up our pirate captain as much as we... Well, are we a pirate? No, we're a pirate fighting faction. Yeah, okay. Already forgot how we got here. Okay, here. here. I guess we can fight the hard pirate. Oh, okay, so no, this is the cannon. Yeah, the hard pirates are the ones you want to take over. Iron pump. To fire over there. No, the smart cannon will attack that and he'll attack that. Okay. Let's enjoy the show. <laughs> yeah, this this fish ship is amazing. Mostly because of the shield. And the ability to use four cannons. To fire Poison everywhere. Yeah, they cannot even get past the shield because they don't have the damage output or the cannon output. Pirate bomb was <laughs> defeated by the banana man. Such a fun game in its core. The concept is very fun. I don't think they'll escape. I guess it's not, the poison is not as good as I thought it's going to be, but it's definitely very disruptive. Level up. I guess we can look at the ship upgrades. We we'll place it inside. Oh, I forgot about this. I keep forgetting about this. I need a lot of wood to unlock the final ship slot. Also, I think after the update, the amount of cheap uh, crafting recipes I'm getting is almost zero, so the developers probably changed something. 
How do you say that? What does banana man do? I guess he just uses the steering wheel, so I'm not sure if he needs the reload speed. Oh no, he uses a cannon, okay. Okay, getting even stronger now. The captain, well, I guess we can improve our reload speed as well. Okay, we maxed our reload speed on two characters. Is amazing. I have to take poop take now, thank you. Already said no once. Well, to be honest, I think we can just... I don't know, let's try and make an upgrade for that final slot. You bleep. Also, I figured out where you're supposed to go for the grandpa funeral. You're supposed to go on the island, on the beach. I think over here on the right side, below. But I don't want to restart the game just to do that. All of these pirates that want to fight with me. Okay, so we found the llama head statue. I guess we'll proceed to sell it. We have a bronze bar. I don't know what to use the bronze bar for, but it's there. I'm, out of, I'm running out of butter room. I guess we'll keep the llama head over there. Bombs. Well, room. The mushroom. Yeah, I'm not sure what I should be doing with all of this stuff. I upgrade this from here. Yes, finally, all slots unlocked. I guess the bronze bar will stay over here. We'll have to keep our diamonds as well. Copper ore, the stones. Well, I guess we'll... Eh, that over there. Can you guy want some gold? Yeah, I think everyone wants gold. Okay, so from now on I'll have to keep all of this stuff because it might be useful for later. We'll keep the that over there. What is that stone? No. Okay. What do I need? What upgrade can I make that will benefit my ship as it is? I think I'm missing a lot of stuff. So that's please. Wow, I'm missing what about twenty stuff? That's remarkable. I guess I could also go for simple move more cargo space to extra inventory, small mana armor, I don't need anything with mana. It should also say if the thing needs, uh, how should I put that, a window or not. I think this will need a window. See? But it doesn't tell you that unless it... Until much later, until you cannot really do anything about it. Firebar monkey. Well, I guess you can try it, but yeah, you don't want to give up a cannon for one of this, one of those things. I think the only good stuff we can make is the demonic altar that is semi-useful. Uh, sleeping quarter is not that good. Pump we don't need. More cannons we cannot use. No, actually, we yeah, we we can make the medium cargo room. Oh, we need more of those. Sorry, but wow, time flies when I'm playing this game. I don't know how or why. No, I keep pressing W by accident. Oh so, yeah, I guess until we get better stuff, the cargo room will have to do.
look at that. I guess we can put that facts over here. Okay, I guess this will be my build for the rest of the game. Uh, meaning... Yes, we want to go outside. Right. Meaning we'll have a lot of fun as from, near, from here on as well. Fish head. Oh, I thought I defeated fish head, but I was wrong. I guess the Kraken only appears at certain points. Okay, let's do a little bit of a test. Oh, wow. These guys are toast. Ah, not much they can do against my cannons. I thought that would level them up. Oh, I was wrong. What was that? How did I get a wooden ring? It comes as jewelry, but I guess I don't want it. Uh, what? I lost HP. How? I could also go to the main city. Where we have the guild of the adventuring guild. I think, yeah, let's just start searching for the artifacts and then we'll go once we have a lot of them. Fish head. Fish head, I think, was somewhere over there. How do I even get there? <laughs> well, I guess you have to go through the fog. Oh. Wow, this thing. I guess you have to move a little bit and then drop the anchor, which is the point of the anchor, of course. To stop when you need it. These guys are going to ask so much of my money, I don't have anything left to do with it. Well, I guess it doesn't matter because there's not much to do with the money anyway. I also don't want to give it to my crew. Oh wow, they have the good stuff. Ice, mortar and frost cry cannon. 24, wow, that's, that's a steep price. I have a feeling I should buy these. I think the, <laughs> I think the frost cry cannon is stronger than the parrot. And the Mama Cannon is not that bad, but that's enough. Not allowed inside. That way. So. Can I put the Frost Cry Cannon inside? Yes, I can. Eleven seconds. I still need something that attacks super fast. This was a good at super fast attack, but I, I think <laughs> I think the extra firepower from these things is much better. Seven seconds. I guess this is four seconds, but it doesn't. Oh no, no, no. This is the thing that does a lot more damage to the ship. It is eight seconds, and it does ship damage. Yeah, I think this would be a much stronger layout. I mean, just when I thought I couldn't get any stronger, we suddenly got so much stronger than I figured. Hmm. What was... what does this thing do? So, no ship damage. But it creates ice on impact. I don't know how that looks like. So it doesn't have a lot of health, but it does a lot of damage to the crew, maybe? I don't know. I feel like we'll replace this with, we'll replace that with something else at some point because Well, <laughs> it seems weak against the ship, and I want something that damages the ship since that's the main way I win, okay. No come Cheaters. That's annoying. 
They escaped through the rocks. Oh, okay, they have nowhere to hide now. Since I hate this so much. Can I just get something, a ship that destroys the ice or doesn't take damage on contact? Oh no, they can go through the fog! Wait, not actually the fog. Okay, so we have fish submarine versus fish per se. Oh, it's called babe. Fish head. Inky. Dolp. Roku. Crabbler, what? This is the cast of Spongebob, probably it is. Okay, so the Widwar cannon would fire over here. This will fire over there. The mortar will fire over there. And the magma will fire in the healing room. Oh, I'm so. Let's see how this works out. This will be either very fun or very less fun. That's the first try again, and it really freezes them up. Oh, that's that's sad. I mean, you freeze them up, and then the poison deals damage to them. I think. Oh, it fires torpedoes at me. That's annoying. Oh, it really freezes on contact. I guess we lost a lot of our damage potential against the ship itself. That thing is creating holes in our ship. I think I want that ship. That ship is a little better. I was fooling around too much. We might lose the battle because... Wait, what? How do I win this? What happened? Why are they not fixing the leaks? Because I don't have a pump. Oopsie. I guess we really need a pump. I cannot stop them. That's annoying, so I cannot stop them from making holes in my boat, and I... Yeah, I don't have... Okay, that, that's a bit sad. I guess they have a really weak crew and ability, but... Okay, we have to destroy the helm as fast as possible, or... Yeah, I guess that's the limitation of the stupid cannon. Doesn't do... Oh, actually destroys the upgrades pretty well. So let's aim the mortar over there. Okay, the big cannon over there. Oh. So we'll fire that in the middle of their boat. The fire one will go over there. Captain will target that, and this guy over here... Well... The, I guess he's just sitting in that room alone, so he doesn't really do much. You yeah, have to disable the main ability of the ship. Otherwise we'll not make it. Funny enough, they will destroy us because we don't have a pump. And they don't need a pump. Well, I guess they'll need a pump at some point. I see a big glacier heading our way. I guess the first mortar is really really good at doing something, but I'm not enjoying it. Oh, looks like they have to destroy the ice when it forms. I guess nothing beats good old damage. Yeah, I'm surprised the frost stuff is so weak. I guess it's good that it freezes them also. This doesn't seem to do anything because it repairs the breaches, but it doesn't fix the water problem. Yeah, we still need to pump up the water even though the leaks are fixed. Oh wow, that's a huge chunk of his health. 
Yeah, this was a little better. I think it's because we uh, destroyed the helm, but yeah, that's a bug over there. Why is that fish so immune to damage? I'm not sure about the frost stuff. I think it's good, but it's not that good. It's definitely not that good. So, three big slots, but only two ones. So, I... I think that's a fair trade, but at the same time, they only have three slots for cannons instead of four. Oh, that's such a big ship, but again, it it's a bit deceiving because you need to use one room for the water pump, and this thing doesn't have... yeah. That thing doesn't have a window to shoot out of it. I guess we are swimming in money, literally. <laughs> Our ship is filled with treasures. I like this. Okay, we have all of the reload speed in the world. I guess we can invest in reload speed, but we don't really need it. So one point over there. I like this the only thing that we really need now. Well, I guess they need to be smart, otherwise they'll damage their upgrades. Yeah, luck will be the thing we upgrade. That was actually a pretty fun <laughs> experience in the game, even though it's broken and balanced and has major issues. It's pretty fun. I'm not sure how we'll fare against the Kraken with that thing. Those cannons are super expensive, but they don't seem to be worth the trouble. I guess they are worth it in a way because they'll completely freeze a cannon, but my other ones don't do enough damage to the ship. But I guess they're supposed to freeze the crew and the upgrade, so you, they cannot do anything against you, which is nice, but that doesn't mean you'll finish the fight faster either way, I don't know. It's fun, see you next time, probably we'll defeat a crack and then bye.